What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours, real of course, this character. And well, today going up against the Ghost to Hunt again. So it, it wasn't too long we actually battled, and uh, I actually battled this guy before this three times before and lost those three times. But one of those being in Ubers, two of those in NU, and both of those in your match, I lost it due to Free Alligator. So this is actually the last battle we had, and this is actually half an hour before. Uh, for Alligator's ban from NU, so definitely, definitely, uh, I really wanted to battle or upload this battle due to that fact alone that this is probably one of the few, like, last for Alligator battles. I know it isn't unique or anything like that, but really, just looking at it um, made me so, it made me glad. It's definitely a very, very interesting and good game, to be honest. And uh, due to me losing this guy before, uh, I actually decided to bring my A game this time. I'm actually going to bring a team that I feel are comfortable, good synergy, and I'm going to play super aggressive and hope to um, really hope to win, honestly. So look at this team here. We got Freligator, we got Fire Ore, Roselia, Rotom, Typhlosion, and Wormadan Ground. So a very good team, you know, very hard hidden. And I myself is going to bring two Eviolite Pokemon, actually. Uh, going to be Garchomp. Um, Kecleon, sorry, Crocono, um, Crying and Old Ninetales, and Emolga. Or actually, my um, Gabite is uh, actually not uh, Evilite, it is Scarfed uh, and is a very, very hard hidden variant of it. Defensively built with speed and barely any. I think I got like one, 100 in attack investment, so nothing serious. Uh, it's just to hit a bit harder, but its main focus is on being fast and take out threats, honestly. So, yeah, with all this in mind, guys, hell, let's go! So, anyway, I do decide to actually leave my Gabite because it actually hits his team rather hard, no matter which Pokemon it is. So, he's gonna start with a Wormadan, and um, I felt first that you know, I should try to go for a hit, but at the same time, I know he's gonna set up Stealth Rocks. I am better off to go to my Cryogonal and actually taking this opening as a free switch while it goes for. Um, well, it goes for Stealth Rocks. So, at this point, I was trying to feel just, uh, should I Rapid Spin? Should I go for Freeze Dry? Um, I ended up going for Freeze Dry. And the reason I did that was because... Oh, sorry, I had to join. Um, was because I knew no matter who it brings, I can probably hit whatever comes in. And Roselia is definitely specially defensive. My god, would you be like, that Pokemon kind of works. So I decided to go for a Spin there and, of course, take away the... Um, the rocks, honestly, and I was thinking, right, I got sleep now, and we play by smoking rules. I can use this my actually my advantage here and um, make sure that I can work around this. So I'm gonna go to Honey Pie, and he is actually going for a switch out on his own to his um, Pyro. And I was thinking, since I got Nine Tails, he wouldn't dare to go for a Fire Blast, and I had that in mind. I was thinking, I should obviously go for a Volt Switch. Um, or a knockoff, I mean, but he actually goes for Fire Blast first off, and second, this kills. Uh, so he's definitely a Scorp variant, and that really sucks. Uh, should definitely have thought about that, but no, I played super aggressive, and I'm gonna keep to just so. So I decided to rise straight off the bat here to go for Dragon Dance, and the reason I decided to do so was because I felt really that I should be able to overpower him, even with the Rolling Inbound. He's bound, if that's the worst case scenario to go for a Volt Switch, which won't take me out, but he goes for the Will-O-Wisp, sadly, and that ugly, of course, shuts me down, and what's even worse is that I still have a Flash Fire Pokemon, I was so sure that he was feeling that, like, he shouldn't be able to um, do so lightly with that, I should definitely have been the better predicted it and just did the obvious play, but I decided to, no, <laughs> I'm gonna keep at it, I'm gonna be aggressive, I need to be aggressive to defeat my opponent. I ha I knew I had to do just so. So anyway, he's gonna go back to his Wormadan, and uh, I was thinking, alright, I either go for one Dragon Dance, but I was so sure two Dragon Dances should be enough to outspeed Rotom, so I'm just gonna go for Waterfall, hoping for a potential flinch. No. We don't get that. Why would we? So he gets up to his rocks, and that is unfortunate. In really is. I don't have too many Pokemon weak to Stealth Rocks, but at the same time, Ugh, so frustrating to have the rocks around because I can't really switch out however I want. And then again, my team design is not built on switches. It's built on uh, overpowering my opponent and I decided to go for Night Sponge. 
just in case switch out to Roselia. I, I felt that that was kind of obvious since it did survive. So anyway, he's gonna go back to his Rotom and Doom. Yeah, two Dragonlance is not enough. He is scarfed and that is just splinted. <laughs> I should definitely go off another Dragon Dance. That would have made a difference there. So tough, 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 tough. But anyway, it's not over. It is not over. He's gonna go back go to his Roselia. And I knew I exactly what I had to do. So I'm gonna go into my Gabite Golish and just go for Outrage. I knew I just had to go for damage. That should be just about enough on any of his Pokemons. And Gabite is going to eradicate Roselia, which is, you know, it's great. It's awesome. It's, yeah, lovely. And he's gonna go just roll them. And finally, finally, Hacks is starting to work in my favor. And the Will O Wisp of him will miss. And this Outrage, of course, will take out this poor guy. I mean, it's poor Odom, really. <laughs> it definitely was a trouble for me, so I'm glad that thing is gone. Uh, but at the same time, <laughs> I've still got issues. Uh, I am I can't really stay in, of course, against the Pyro. Hyper Voice seems extremely obvious. So I'm just going to go to Kecleon. My Kecleon is a Salt Vested Drain Punch set. And um, it should really work here. It should really, really eradicate my opponent quite, quite good, to be honest. So it's gonna go for Hyper Boys. I take that really, really, really well, and um, he's gonna be, of course, be able to outspeed me and go for another. And I decided here to go for Drain Punch. What I should have done here afterwards is something that kind of perplexes me, to be honest. I should have just gone for a Shadow Sneak. So if I'd done that, I would have been immune to his Hyper Voice. But no, I didn't think like that, and that is actually frustrating me still <laughs> watching this battle because that actually put my Cipher. In the amount of range where I say that it isn't that comfortable anymore. And um, yeah, should definitely have thought about that. A little frustrated about that, and I think you guys know why. That is like a big opportunity for me to, of course, utilize that. So anyway, Taplosh is gonna come in, and instead of switching out to my Ninetales, I go for Shadow Sneak because I'm thinking I gotta whittle down his eruption, right? Right? I'm a fool. <laughs> So anyway, I score a crit here. The eruption, of course, will still do you know some rough damage here. So I was really hoping the shadow snake would do it enough first time, so that I wouldn't be able would be able to go for drain punch. But it is sadly not in that range. Two eruptions from that range would have been able to take me out, and I am sadly in the range where stealth frost will take me out. I decided to switch out in case it weren't, and that my Krogonor will miraculously wake up if things aren't working out. So anyway, I'm going to Silver, which is the Nine Tails, getting that eruption going really, or Flashfire. I am sadly not the um, awesome set that is Nasty Plot, and that really sucks. It, I actually like all the um, utility set, and I think that is um, that is not such a good set anymore. I actually, <laughs> I actually decided to switch this set up. Because it just doesn't hit that hard, and obviously Type Lotus Surviving kind of showcase that even with Life Orb, I am just, I'm not scaring anybody anymore. So anyway, his last Pokemon is the Alligator, and um, yeah, obviously, either it's going to go for Dragon Dance, or is it going to go for an Aqua Jet, that was my mindset, so I just went for an Energy Ball. He is going for the Swords Dance, and you know, I felt still fine, it's okay, I got this. There is no worries, I should be able to work around this, even if it takes me out. So he's gonna go for the Aqua Jet. He's actually not Shear Force, he's Torrent. Um, which obviously doesn't matter this hit, but... I really don't need to worry about that, because I can actually force him to go for the Aqua Jet, which of course will not take out this... Uh, monstrous Pokemon that is a Gabite due to my defensive set. So he's gonna go for Aqua Jet, and like I said, he's Torrent after all. And it's gonna hit quite hard. Quite hard. Gonna hit crit hard. That sucks. It really sucks. But the rough, rough skin is gonna do some damage there. But it is of course not enough either. And my Gabite is sadly gonna go down. And my two last Pokemon here is actually the Kryogonal and the Kecleon, which can survive the stealth rock damage. And my my Shirix is sadly fast asleep. It's gonna go for Waterfall, finish it off. And yeah, I sadly lose this battle. Against the freaking Feraligator again. This is so frustrating. <laughs> I really had this game in the bag. I did some very strange plays. Not gonna lie about that. And um, sadly, I must say, 
Um, my opponent played a good game, but I definitely should have battled better. I really felt that afterwards. So yeah, I was actually, you know, looking back in this battle, I was a bit salty because I do realize that while my opponent do all the right plays to keep the momentum, I definitely don't do the same. I My team had design-wise a better structure that could have worked out in the end for me, but I decided to play a bit on the safe side and a bit, a bit more, I guess you said stupid. And um, due to me having a lot of momentum in the last few turns, I decided to do some plays that are questionable. It really is due to my actually knowing my opponent's set. And definitely like the Hyper Voice combination there with my Kecleon and Lockdown Shadow Sneak. It was really dumb. <laughs> it was really dumb. And um, me not taking advantage of, of course, the um, eruption from the Type Lotion and not switching Nine Tails. Also, a very, very dumb play of me. And like I said, my opponent does play a very, very good game here. So I won't. It's not. <laughs> I'm not in a disadvantage of him. Like, I really do realize my opponent played a good game, so I'm not going to take that away from him. And it was definitely deserving this battle. I just felt that I played a bit on the bad side. I should definitely stepped up my game much better than I do here, because I do, like, at some point here, I just stopped playing. I just played really, really safe, very obvious. And uh, the direct result of that is me losing. And uh, it's a fact I can't deny. And it was tough seeing that go down. It really was. Um, but definitely for Alligator coming through last ender and uh, it is not as broken as people say but it's definitely it's much tougher now um but it's kind of funny how this is like the third times in a row that for alligator has taken me down it is beyond me how well it worked and it was a very tough scene for alligator going for that crit aqua jet it's a part of the game so it actually didn't make me that mad it's just my own place throughout this battle which definitely annoys me um, so anyway, it goes on to, you know, GG man, it was a fun battle, and I hope that I get a chance to battle you soon again, and pull a win, because I really can't stand that you are 4-0 against me, that, that is, that is awful, <laughs> that is really bad, um, so yeah, my revenge is coming, I'm just saying that right now, so anyway guys, you wanna, I really wanna thank you guys, of course, for watching, and, um, I might not be able to stream tomorrow due to a big thing in Sweden happening tomorrow. It's called the Melodies Festival and it's uh, basically a song contest. But I'm bound to, um, due to mail rules, to be locked in a, actually a quite a good time drinking a champagne and watching good music. So uh, I might not be able to stream because we're going to probably have a go to a party. Anyway guys, so keep that in mind. So I will wish you all guys you know, a nice weekend and all. And take care of yourself. And I see you Monday, alright? Take care, guys. Bye.